Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run C or C++ programs on a Windows PC. So currently, I'll be using a Windows 10 PC for this tutorial. However, I'm sure that it works for Windows 7 or earlier versions of Windows. So the tool that we'll be using is called Dev C++. So just go ahead and Google that. And then just go to the first link that pops up. and then just go ahead and click here to download it now the reason i am you know you i'm recommending this tool is because it is a really you know easy to use piece of software and it works really well and it is really good for beginners like me so that's why i'm suggesting it so just wait for the download to pop up and once it does then just go ahead and save it however i have already downloaded the file so i'll just go ahead and open that so here is the installation file which is approximately 48 MBs and the latest version at the time of making this video is 4.9.2 so just go ahead and double click on it. So it will prompt you to select a language and choose whichever language you prefer in my case I'll be using English and then quickly read the terms of agreement and then click on I agree and then choose the full installation type and then click on next and then you can choose the you know and destination folder for the installation to take place however i just leave it to the default value and then click on install now i'll probably pause the video so that the installation process doesn't take a lot of time okay so once the software is installed it will show you this screen and just make sure that this checkbox is selected and click on finish so now it will open the screen that shows up only at the first time that you launch the program. So just select whichever language you please. I'll be choosing English, then click on next and then it will ask you to select various options like font, color, icons and themes and all sorts of stuff. But I'll just stick to the default values and click on next and then click on OK. So if you get this screen after the installation, then that means that your compiler or IDE has installed perfectly and now you can begin to write your first C or C++ program on your Windows PC. So to create a new file just go ahead and click on here and select source file. So now you can begin typing your program. So I'll just uh, type out a super short program for a C language. So include the standard input output header files and then in the main part just print a simple hello viewers line all right so this would be a program that we'll be used uh, using to test this id so just go ahead and click Control plus s and then uh, save it uh, with some suitable name like program dot c and then just click on here to compile and execute it so as you can see here that the program works pretty well and it does what it, what, what it was supposed to do and it prints out hello viewers now quickly just open another file and check whether it is working for C++ programs or not by including the IO stream file and then typing out using name space std and then in the main part just print out using cout um, all right um, hello viewers again all right so that's it and just uh, you know click here or press ctrl plus s to save it with some suitable name so just type out whatever name you want and okay so program.cpp and then hit enter and then just click here to compile and execute it so as you can see that the program works pretty fine that is it prints out hello viewers again when we run this and it, it was also working for the C program and the only distinctions between these two is that in the C programs you will be adding a dot H line while in C++ programs you won't be typing dot H part out and you'll be typing one more line that is using namespace std. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you guys and in case you enjoyed it or learned something new from it then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.